I'm here with Steve Cockrell on the rooster stand at the RYA Dinghy Show 2019 and this is a special occasion, it marks 20 years of rooster. Now Steve, it's been quite a journey. What do you remember of your first time here at the Dinghy Show as rooster? Well, uh, the, the story I, I, I remember was when I was doing a talk on a laser and there was a, we had a central sort of area where people could gather around to, for the talks, which is quite exciting because it drew lots of people in from other classes as well. And um, there was about 200, 300 people gathering around and my explanation of unstayed rigs and things and how they worked. And towards the end I'd realised I'd, I'd done what I needed to do and I had just five minutes longer and I said do you want me to show you how you do roll tax and they went yeah of course we do so well okay guys let's pick me up so I had the whole of the the whole of the laser in the air on a sea of hands and I was doing roll tax on a sea of hands and on, on, on the thing I never saw a picture so if anybody's got a picture of that somewhere at home of any type I'd love to see it because I think those pictures that were out were kind of hidden very quickly due to health and safety but it was it was perfectly safe I thought at the time but that's the sort of radical things I do find myself doing sometimes when I'm coaching and it's been quite a journey for Rooster could you imagine 20 years later when you look at the great stand that you've got here and the staff that you have could you imagine it have all ended up like this 20 years later? Um, I had big dreams, but at the same time, I really aspired to be as good and as big as lots of people now that we maybe have even passed. Um, but I did have huge dreams at the time and huge potential dreams of where we're going to get to. Um, so it, it did feel like I was the, the one bloke packing up parcels back at home, trying to beat the posters to make sure the customer felt they got good customer service. Um, but it was the, the, the growth of the internet that did it for me, because I, I, I needed a platform to share knowledge, to, to get people to um, enjoy sailing as much as I enjoyed sailing, and to, you know, to get behind the sport. And the internet gave me that platform, so I could start sharing knowledge, sharing videos, doing articles, and sharing all that. I remember sitting there just trying to, you know, FTP stuff and going, wow, this is so exciting. People are out there. They're looking at my internet. But of course they weren't. It takes a while for people to get there and to see it. And it slowly grew. Yeah, it was, it was, it's fun. But without the internet, it'd been quite hard to do it. Well, Steve, it's been fantastic to watch the growth of Rooster over the last 20 years. And here's to the next 20 following on. Thank you very much, Mark. It's great having you as part of our team. Thank you.